play cards. And if you don't want to watch, you can retire to your bedroom and pray for me. Yeah. Do you know these people are coming? Yes, I do. Harry Wilson, he's a cousin... And he's George... been in prison! Well, of course, he's been in prison, so what? You're mad. Who are the others? Well, they're friends of mine. Well, who? You don't know them. I'll make many of you case. Oh, right, lot of lie about getting there. What do they do for a living? Oh, Rex, he's on the snow clearing. That's a nice steady job. <laughs> Martin's got a national assistant. You want your head seen to. Look, I know what I'm doing. I'm not a child. I have played before, you know. I must have thought it was her birthday meeting you. Look, I do know what I am doing. I have played before. It's not the first time. You talk as if I'm going to lose every hand. Well, even if you win every hand, you're not going to get much out of that lot, are you? A jailbird, a bloke on the door and a snow clearer. All right. <laughs> that is enough. Have you played with them before? Yes, once. How much did you win? How did you know I won? The oldest trick in the world. Meet a mug, let him win a few bob, give him the come on, and the next time, take him to the cleaners. Oh, that is enough. Look, I don't get many mates round here, thanks to you. These lads is good company. Oh, I thought they ain't got jobs. They're very nice and very generous, and that's all that counts with me. And look, when they come here tonight, you behave yourself. Don't you go around muttering things and putting a mockers on it. I mean, if you can't keep a civil tongue in your head, go to bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me introduce you to my father, Dad. This is George. How do you do? <laughs> uh, and this is Martin. Mr. Steptoe, this is a pleasure. I've been looking forward to meeting you. I've heard so much about you from your son. <laughs> <laughs> this is Rex. Hello there, eh? <laughs> That's swell. Let's go and have a drink. Oh, yeah. We were just remarking as we came across the yard, Mr. Stepton. What a very nice place you have here. Yeah. Were you? Yeah. It's Georgian, isn't it? Is it? Oh, yes, I should think so. It's either Georgian or Gothic or something Is like it? that. <laughs> Give it a rest, Martin. He's always talking about architecture, he is. Is he? You must forgive me, Mr. Stepto. I'm very interested in buildings. I've not taken it up. My mother always intended I should have been an architect. You should have been. You wouldn't be on the door, would you? <laughs> Ah, oh, yeah, well, that's only temporary, you know, in between jobs. Yes, I'm very interested in houses. So am I, public houses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, the cup of cheer. <laughs> Is red wine all right? Oh, Some bully yeah, music, me. Uh, do sit down, make yourselves comfortable. Ah, oh, oh, wine, the no. juice of the grape. As the poet says, a day without wine is a day without sun. Eh? Indeed, indeed. indeed. Oh, very good, Harold. Yeah. Well, here's to you, Mr. Se oh, dear, your father doesn't appear to have a drink, Harold. Yeah, we, we ain't got enough glasses. Oh, well, then, please have mine. I mean, we can't have a drink without the head of the arse, though. No, no, he don't drink. Very wise, very wise. A sober man is a vigilant man, eh? <laughs> eh? <laughs> yes. Well, anyway, here's to you, Harold. Mm. Cheers. Here's to a pleasant evening, and may the best man win, the eh? Best man, may yes. the best man win. Well, then, shall we begin? Uh, that is, if you will excuse us, sir. He's the one to watch. Old Oily. The quad. Smooth and an horse's ear, old he is. I bet he's a good shuffler. Are you ready, then, Harold? Yes, right. Now, then, Harold, you're going to give us a chance to get that ten pounds that you want. Yeah, well, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, what about raising the stakes a bit from last time? Yeah. Make it a bit more interesting, right. eh? Oh, no, no. Oh, no, I'm against that. Oh, I oh. think a penny maximum is quite enough. Oh, yeah. No, it's a friendly game. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you lose friends that way. Oh, it won't hurt. Just raise it a bit. Yeah. Give it a bit more excitement. No, 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 I am against it. I really am. What are you afraid of? Losing a bit of money, oh, eh? Oh, well, eh? no, it's not that, but we are guessing the house, oh, you know. Oh, Harold doesn't mind, do you, Harold? You don't want to keep it at a penny maximum, do you? Wow. <laughs> it's not much, yeah, no. is it? <laughs> no, no. 
Well, it is up to you, Earl. I mean, you are the host. Do you want to raise the stakes? Yeah, yeah, why not? All right, then. Five shillings minimum. Double every race. <laughs> First jack to deal. My deal. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right, then. Five card draw jacks to open. Draw three. I'll open for five, Bob. I'll see that. I'll stack. And up five shillings. Make that a pound. I'll see that. And up two pounds. And I'll see that. So will I. How many cards, Harold? Two, please. Two. Three, please, Marty. Three. How many cards is you having? Uh, none. I'll play it. Oh, no. No. Don't dig any nose with me, bluffing. He always does that. <laughs> <laughs> four pounds to play. I thought you said he was bluffing. Be quiet, then. <laughs> right. You're four pounds and up four pounds. Too much for me. <clears throat> oh, ho. We think I smell a little full house, eh? In which case, you're four and up eight. Hey! I thought you was on national assistance. <laughs> Why would you uh, chuck it in and hand a cheese around? He can't chuck it in now if he's got a good hand. No, he's got a good hand. His money down the drain. I still reckon he's bluffing. Mm, you got out quick, didn't you? I didn't have anything. Uh, Martin, how much do I have to put in to see you? Eight pounds exactly. I'll see you. I got a flush. Full house. A running flush. <laughs> running flush? On the trot. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Doesn't it? May I? <laughs> Excuse me. Not taking candy off a kid. So much for the twenty quid they got off, you got off them. Beginner's luck, Mr. Steptoe. The night is yet young. Plenty of time for it to go the other way. Your deal, Errol. Would you pass the cheese and biscuits? <laughs> right, card draw, Jack Stroke. Cheer up, Errol, this one's yours. No, Tom, he ain't won one all night. Yes, he has been unlucky, hasn't yeah. he? He has, yes. I haven't seen a bloke so unlucky. He's had such good hands. Beautiful. Beautiful. Never mind, this time, eh? <laughs> I'll open. Some fop, Bob. Stack, stack, stack. <laughs> Pick it up, Harold. Pick what up? I'll just put that down. I've got, I've got four aces. Four aces. Oh, oh dear, isn't that unlucky? Oh, yeah. Four aces and what? nobody oh, with them. Now that really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, four aces. Oh, Never you mind, Harold. Your luck has changed. Yeah. At least you've one eye and that's the important thing. <laughs> you've broken the spell. Yes, I've seen that happen before. There you are. Now, you, Taylor and Martin, I always box them. All right, then, same again. Yes, I've seen a bloke losing at this time of night and finish up cleaning everybody out. What's the time? I really must be going. Up to you, Arrow. I'll be. Uh, I, I might as well open. Five, Bob. I have nothing here, even if I take five cards. Uh, no, me, stack. I'll play with the arrows. How many cards do you want? Oh, I'll play these. <laughs> oh, dear, that does sound ominous, doesn't it? <laughs> A dealer takes one. Up to you, arrows. Twelve and threepen. <laughs> oh dear. Is that all you've got left, Harold? Oh dear, now that is distressing, isn't it? I mean, accepting all his hospitality and <laughs> taking all his money too. Now, really is distressing, that is. Well, in that case, uh, I'd better see you. Twelve and threepen. What you got, Harold? 
Four sevens, that's all. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, what? I am terribly sorry. Four eights. Oh. <laughs> well, that, that's me. Scrubbed up. Oh, dear. Well, you said right. So early, too. Well, lads, early to bed yeah. and early to rise. I think we'd better be I don't go yet, sir. Have a drink. Well, I might be able to stay for one, eh, lads? Ah, that's the spirit. Here, yeah, run down to the pub and get some beer. I ain't got any money. Oh, here's a quid. Get, take the jug and get some bitter. <laughs> How about a quick hand just to pass the time? Oh, no, 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 come no, on, no, I like to break off. He won't let me down no, a well, if he won't let you, I don't think we ought to. No, no, he no. won't. No, we get a time for a quick hand before no, he comes back. I don't back. really think so, Mr. Stubble, because you see, we, we play for rather nice things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. uh, 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 Would this be a uh, final? <laughs> well, in that case, I think we might stretch a point yeah, like that. I think so. You don't mind if I uh, play with a new packed car, do you? Uh, well. Sentimental reasons, you see. <coughs> My wife gave me these 30 years ago, just before she died, and they're still unopened. I'd like to think that the first game I've played since she passed on was with her cards. You haven't played cards for 30 years. He won't let me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, in that case, I think we might raise yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on, forget me glasses. I can't see without me glasses. I might make some mistake. You'll, uh, you'll have to be patient with an old man. Now then. Uh, how do you play this game? <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late, lads, but a bottle and jumpers crowded as usual. Nobody's serving me. Good night, Harold. Wait a minute, I've got the booze. No, I don't think there's any point in our staying any longer, thank you. Particularly as now we'll have to be walking home. Good night. Hey, what? I'm in Ross. Hello, Sam. Where did you get all that money? Yeah, put that in your pocket and don't play cards again. You've been playing cards after what you said to me. Well, I wasn't going to let them get away with 30 nickel of your money. 68 quid, I bet they don't come round again in a hurry. <laughs> you win all this off them, they're very good card players. They aren't. They were cheating, they was tucking you up. They weren't? Yes, they were. Old Ollie, I was watching him, he was dealing off the bottom. He was working the old three-finger drag with his thumb on the top, the oldest trick in the business. Well, you knew it was cheating, why didn't you tell me? There wouldn't be any point. That way we've only got our money back. This way we've got theirs as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry, he's never proved anything. I still don't understand. How did you win all this if they was cheating? I thought you were supposed to be no good at cards. Well, I'm not. I just used me own pack. Take a look through them. <laughs> Six of diamonds. <laughs> the eye of clubs. <laughs> the king of spades. <laughs> You crafty old devil! Why you think it would be like that? <laughs> Those who live by the sword. Stop perish by the sword. <laughs> Never play cards with someone you don't know. Thank you, game. Not with you. <laughs> I'll give you a game, mate, and you brag. Well, take your glasses off, Dan. <laughs> 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 